They can only make money off of sick people, not healthy people. Heart medicine, dandelions, and Roundup. That sounds crazy, right? But you know what? They all fit together like a puzzle. You know why? Those little yellow dandelions that grow in your yard that they tell you to hate, they're terrible. They're actually the greatest thing on the earth for your heart. The enzymes and the electrolytes can literally cleanse and strengthen your heart valves and muscles more than anything else. And it's natural and free. The crazy thing is, the same company that owns the heart medicine, that is the highest sold heart medicine in the entire world, that makes hundreds of millions of dollars a year, is the same exact company that owns Roundup. Yeah. Dandelions include chemicals that may help avoid health problems, in addition to being high in nutrients. Dandelions are high in antioxidants, which can be found in the roots, leaves, and flowers. Antioxidants protect your body from free radicals. Add dandelion to your anti-inflammatory diet. Compounds in these plants have been shown in lab experiments to reduce inflammation. Dandelions contain a large amount of potassium, making them a natural diuretic. Dandelion has been recognized as a natural solution to manage type 2 diabetes around the world. Animal studies suggest that the chemicals in dandelions may help diabetics lower their blood sugar levels. Lowering cholesterol is a crucial step in lowering heart disease risk. Dandelions, Taraxacum officinale, are a common weed that also happens to be tasty. In fact, almost the entire plant can be ingested in some fashion. The stem, which contains a bitter, milky fluid, is the only portion that is inedible. Let's begin at the beginning. The flowers. Pancakes or fritters with dandelion flowers are delicious. Simply combine one half to three quarter cup of plucked flowers with your regular pancake or fritter batter. Flowers can be picked fresh or dried before being picked. Select huge heads that are completely bloomed. Pull the petals apart from the green base with a gentle tug. This is an excellent exercise for children who wish to assist in the kitchen. Antioxidants, as well as vitamins A and B12, are plentiful in the blossoms. The greens will be next. The best greens are those harvested before the plant blooms, but they can be picked and eaten at any time of year. Young, tender greens can be used fresh in salads or chopped and put on top of mashed or baked potatoes instead of chives. They can be sauteed, stir-fried, or creamed in the same way as spinach. Potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin C are all plentiful in one cup of minced dandelion leaves. They also contain a significant amount of sodium, making them an excellent flavorful alternative to table salt. Finally, there's the root. While the root is arguably the least appealing portion of the plant to eat due to the time and effort required to gather and clean it. Wash the root thoroughly and peel it with your fingernail. Boiling the roots for 10 to 20 minutes removes the bitterness. Then add the root to soups, stews, and other recipes. Dandelions, like any other vegetable, must be cleaned and handled correctly. Before eating, make sure to rinse the leaves and roots under cold running water. Because flowers are difficult to clean, choose flowers that are free of debris and insects. The most important thing to remember while picking dandelions and other edible wild plants is to collect them in places free of herbicides, pesticides, fertilizers, heavy metals, and other forms of chemical pollution. There's no way to know for sure whether a chemical has been removed, no matter how many times you wash them. If you're not sure, don't eat it.